Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock and today was the return of the Nintendo Treehouse live event for October 2020 and this was amazing. We got our first in-depth look at Pikmin 3 Deluxe coming exclusively to the Nintendo Switch on October 30th, 2020 and I'll go into greater detail in a different video for that game. But we also got another in-depth look at Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and before we get into the details on what was presented there. GameStop here in the United States has made an announcement that for anyone who orders Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity for the Nintendo Switch at their locations, they will receive this bonus mystery guardian keychain. Now, I did look online at the official GameStop website and I don't see anything concerning this. But if you look at the bottom left hand corner of your screens, it states this, purchase of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity physical game required. Offer valid while supplies last. See participating GameStop locations for details. So I would recommend that if you are interested in this pre-order bonus, check out your local GameStop for any questions. Now, as far as what was revealed today in the Treehouse Live event for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, we got our first look at one of the champions, Urbosa, in action in the Garuda Desert and her gameplay style is amazing. She uses these cool lightning techniques and man, Every time I see new gameplay of this game, it gets me more excited for this game's release. One thing that really impressed me is that how large these areas are that you'll be fighting in. They're not just these small arenas that you fight in, not whatsoever. Koei Tecmo and Nintendo has come up with some large maps as you can see at the bottom right hand corner of your screens and I'm really impressed by this because at first I thought there was just going to be some small segments of each area for each champion or each part of the storyline but no, these are some large areas and this was really shown off in the gameplay that they showed today with Zelda in the Gerudo Desert. As you see there, there are tons of enemies on screen and even more enemies in the background of the game. So you can explore all through these levels and with all this different implementation of the enemies and the large levels and backgrounds, I know that Koei Tecmo and Nintendo spent a lot of time creating this game. This isn't just some spin-off like Hyrule Warriors the original game was, no. Of course, this is a canon story, it's 100 years before Breath of the Wild, but just seeing so much that they've put into this game with the different gameplay that they've shown off from today as well as the Tokyo Game Show, man, I am blown away. We also got our first look at the full-blown map screen for this game and it's just like Breath of the Wild. The map is huge, as you can see on your screens here, man. And as it was in Breath of the Wild, you have different side quests that you can explore on this map, as well as crafting your different weapons, you can fuse the weapons together to make an even stronger weapon, and Nintendo confirmed today that your weapons will not break in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity the same way they did in Breath of the Wild. So you don't have to worry about the strength of your weapons and whether they're going to break or not. No, that's not happening in this game, and that's a great thing to hear. You can also cook in this game, similar to Breath of the Wild, but it's a little different. And you can make different recipes and different things to strengthen your character. Also, you can customize your character with different items and gear that you find throughout the game. And that's also cool to hear as well. It's like in Breath of the Wild where you can just do all these different crazy things, but on a different scale with this Age of Calamity game. We also got another look at new gameplay for Young Impa and man, this is probably one of the coolest characters in the game. We got our first look at Young Impa at the Tokyo Game Show of 2020 but now we have an even more in-depth look at her with all these different Sheikah techniques, these different ninja clone techniques, she can even summon these giant frogs from out of the sky. This is so cool man and we even got a chance to see her go to battle with a giant Hinox. Now, to end off this Nintendo Treehouse presentation, which featured gameplay from Pikmin 3 Deluxe and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, we got our first look at the training mode within the game. And I must say man, with everything that was shown off by Koei Tecmo and Nintendo for this game, I believe that Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity has a lot to offer. And I'm telling you right now, this game is a must play game, especially if you play Breath of the Wild, heck, even if you didn't play Breath of the Wild. The events in this game happen 100 years before Link takes his eternal sleep and shows up in Breath of the Wild so yeah man, this is a must play game and I think that the story is way more engaging than it was in Breath of the Wild. Now as we all seen in Breath of the Wild, there are just snippets of story here and there with different memories and things like this but now we get to see everything that happened before Ganon took over so man, this is a huge game and you can even search for Koroks within the game. So there you all have it and just as a reminder, 
If you are interested in this pre-order bonus from GameStop, which is a bonus mystery guardian keychain with your purchase of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, make sure you go in store for further details because this will be released in limited quantities. Alright everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything else discussed here and are you ready for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity when this game releases on November 20th, 2020? Please let me know down in the comment section below and if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button because it really does help out the channel and gives exposure to other people who do not know about Around the Clock. Also, please share this video as well. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new and daily Nintendo news content right here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.